how to make a uh, stack gradients and this is my bottom front and i'll compensate the delay and let's store it and you can see there is a cancellation in the rear end so similarly like the stack gradient you can also place the subwoofer something kind of like this as a front subwoofer and a rear subwoofer so now let's check out how to do a end fire so generally with end fire the more numbers of subwoofer Hey everyone, so let me quickly show you how to make a uh, stack gradient. Normally all the brands have their presets that you can upload, but what if you want to create one by yourself? So let us quickly check. So you can see I have two subwoofers over here and you can see one is facing back, one is facing front and this is my microphone. So the mechanism, the configuration of a stacked gradient is the rear facing subwoofer will be polarity reverse and there will be some delay so that it creates some cancellation in the back but there is some summation in the front and you get all the sub energy in the front. So let's quickly do. So for that because we have to do the processing on the subwoofer that is on the top and that is facing rear, the reference subwoofer here will be our bottom sub that is facing the front so let's go here measurement and you can see uh, so let us stick so this is my bottom front okay predict and this is my bottom front and I'll compensate the delay and let's store it and bottom front and let's quickly check bottom front this is my bottom front and now let's check the top Rear, but we know it needs to be this is my top which needs to be polarity reverse now we can see this is the phase and there needs to be a latency since we are doing at 63 Hertz let us put a 4 millisecond delay because this is 2100 LFC which is exactly here 63 so maybe we can just put a tiny tiny 4.1 so that we know at 63 Hertz they are aligned now if we see and if we predict now we should get a cancellation at the rear end so let us check and you can see there is a cancellation at the rear end and we have submission in the front so that's stacked gradient so Similarly, like the stack gradient, you can also place the subwoofer something kind of like this as a front subwoofer and a rear subwoofer and you can do the similar processing in the rear subwoofer that is polarity reverse and we induce a delay. So let's quickly check out how to do that. So now the reference point will be our front subwoofer. So let's quickly go here, check and take the reference. So this is my ref front sub. And let us see here this is my reference front sub let's check the rear subwoofer now predict and you can see and now we know that rear subwoofer needs to be polarity reverse and we induce a delay so again let us put a four millisecond delay which you can see here now we are overlapping around 63 Hertz and with that similar process we should get a cancellation in the rear and some summation in the front so you have good nice clean state so you can see so similar processing now we have done a polarity reverse and induced the delay in the rear sub and now we have made a inline gradient so now let's check out how to do a end fire in general by theory in end fire you need a lot of subwoofers all placed in line but here let us try this with just two subwoofers front and back so it's quite similar to the inline gradient but here we do not do any polarity reverse and we just induce a delay in the front sub so this is my front and this is my rear so now because we have to induce a delay in the front now the reference becomes our rear sub so this is my rear and let us quickly auto set the delay and this becomes my reference that is for that is my rear sub so rear sub and let us quickly go and have our rear sub over here and 
and now we can see this is the front sub and now we need to induce a delay so that at 63 hertz they overlap each other let us put a delay so let us have like around 3.8 and they overlap and let us quickly check what is the response and predict and you see you get a cardioid pattern again so you can see the inline gradient and the stacked gradient works better the whole coverage and the whole uh, polar pattern is much better than the end fire but if you have more and more subwoofers you will definitely have a better end fire result so let's quickly put one more subwoofer over here insert okay and this becomes my channel 3 and we have to induce a delay in channel 3 now take the new sub which is channel 3 we have already treated the middle sub now we are just inducing adding one more just to show you the more length of subwoofer you have in end fire you get better cancellations so now let us put a delay so this is 3.8 which was at four feet back right and now we have eight feet so maybe four and now we have three stacks let's check and you can see the coverage the pattern is getting better so let us put one more sub okay so let's try with four subwoofers the same thing and fire okay and the more number of subwoofers you have you can see the pattern improves and now you have more cancellations so generally with n fire the more numbers of subwoofer you have place all back to back of each other and you can now get a better result with n fire but when you have lesser quantity of subwoofer or uh, inline gradient or a stack gradient works better hope this video was good for you and don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps me a lot thank you so much